Hello, 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 viewers all over the world. Once again, I come to you. I want to share the word of God with you. This is Bishop Apostle Kezia Sulungu, the Bishop and the General Vasia, Supremacy of God Ministries International. Wherever you are watching me right now, uh, I want to share with you the word of God. I want to bring uh, God's message to you, the message that can inspire you this day. Uh, you can subscribe, you can share it, and uh, I encourage you also to support this uh, program, be able to support uh, this telecast so that I may also continue providing messages, providing uh, encouragement to all of you viewers. Right now, I want to read the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter 23, and I begin reading Psalms 23, the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of the righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your road and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Um, you anoint my heart with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy, they shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Um, as I said, I want to share to you the grace through this message today. And, uh, the message that I want to share with you today is entitled... The Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. Wherever you are, I want you to realize that the Lord is your shepherd. Now, from the text that I've just read, I want you to understand that I want to share with you on the followings. I, I will share to you, first of all, I want to bring the definition of a shepherd, who is a shepherd. Number two, uh, the, uh, I want us to look at the works of a shepherd, the works of a shepherd or responsibilities of a shepherd. Number three, I want to let you know the nature of a shepherd. Number four, I want to let you know the heart of a shepherd. Now, let's begin. First of all, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this hour. Thank you for my viewers. Thank you for those that are with me right now on this telecast. As I begin to preach, may God open their hearts, touch them, speak to them, encourage them in the mighty name of Jesus regardless of the moments or situations that your people may be going through. I pray the Lord you touch them, lift them, encourage them. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, let's go. Um, as I said, number one, I want to bring to you the definition of a shepherd. Who is a shepherd? Um... A shepherd is a person with the responsibilities of taking care 
for the sheep. A shepherd is a person with the responsibilities of taking care for the sheep. Um, maybe before we go further, let us also look at who is a sheep. In case you may want more clarification and more definition of who a sheep is or what a sheep is in this in this context that we are in in the sharing of the word of god a sheep in this context a sheep um these are the sheep these are the souls under the responsibilities of a shepherd or a sheep is a soul or sheep are the souls under the responsibilities of a shepherd so now let's see the subject is entitled the lord is our shepherd the lord is our shepherd as i told you a shepherd is a person with the responsibilities of taking care for the sheep and the sheep are the souls under the responsibilities of a shepherd. I want you to know, viewers out there, that the sheep without a shepherd are the vulnerable sheep. The sheep without a shepherd, they become vulnerable. We need to understand the important role of a shepherd in your life. You need to understand the important role of a shepherd in the life of the sheep. And I want you also to understand uh, that uh, you need to also to understand the the role of the sheep in the life of a shepherd. So both the sheep and the shepherd they are all important, and they need to move together. The sheep and the shepherd they need to move together. Without the sheep. The work of a shepherd cannot be known. And without the shepherd, the responsibilities of a sheep cannot be known. So the sheep and the shepherd, they are all important. Uh, what are the works or the responsibilities? What are the works or the responsibilities of a shepherd? Number one, the shepherd has the responsibilities to nature the sheep in the way they should go. The shepherd have the responsibilities of nurturing the sheep in the way they should grow or in the way they should go. The shepherd have the responsibilities of taking care for the sheep. It is the duty of the shepherd to take care for the sheep. It is the duty and the responsibilities of the shepherd to nature the sheep in the way they must grow. The shepherd has the responsibilities to make sure that the sheep are in good health. It is the responsibility of a shepherd to make sure that the sheep are in good healthy. To make sure that the sheep are protected. It is the responsibility of the shepherd to make sure that the sheep are protected. Also, the shepherd has the responsibilities of providing guidance to the sheep. The sheep, they need guidance. This is why you need to understand that there is a big difference between the shepherd and the sheep. The shepherd is there to guide the sheep. The shepherd is there to provide guidance to the shepherd. The shepherd is someone who must have a foresight. He must have a direction. He must be able to see beyond what the sheep can see. In some circumstances, the sheep can foresee danger. It is possible. 
the sheep can foresee danger the sheep can perceive uh, some good things in certain areas but it is the responsibilities of a shepherd to provide direction to provide governance to provide leadership and care so the sheep and uh, the shepherd must move together the whole responsibilities of taking care for the sheep is in the hands of the shepherd number three or number two i mean the shepherd is there to provide comfort peace love and joy to the sheep the shepherd is there to provide comfort peace love joy and hope to the sheep there are moments whereby the sheep because of the circumstances and situations or challenges the sheep may lose focus the sheep may be discouraged the sheep may be frustrated the sheep may want to sit down the sheep may want to go backwards but it is the duty of a shepherd to come in and bring encouragement to comfort to gather the sheep to give them peace to give them joy to give them guidance and hope on the provided direction in the tough moments in the tough situations the shepherd must be there to provide good governance and direction to provide hope to the sheep because the sheep and the shepherd the abilities may not be the same the grace that are given to the sheep may not be the grace that will be given to the shepherd the shepherd is given uh, a special grace to lead the sheep so, so the grace that is given to the shepherd to lead the sheep is the grace that the sheep must receive in order to move forward in life now if the sheep they refuse the guidance they refuse the grace that god provides for the governance or the leadership of the of the, of the sheep so we need to understand that when god raises the shepherd he raises the special grace upon the, the shepherd for the governance and for the leadership of the sheep for the sheep to be given proper direction uh, god gives grace f upon the shepherd now number number three we need to understand that uh, the shepherd has the responsibility of training the sheep in the good works it is the responsibility of a shepherd to train the sheep in the good works that they must they must uh, be now the shepherd number four the shepherd must provide hearing to the sheep it is the duty of the sheep it is the duty of the shepherd i mean to provide healing to provide necessity care upon the sheep so it is very very imperative to understand that uh, the shepherd is very important in the life of the sheep the sheep may be wise in their own nature the sheep may be strong in their own nature or in their own ability but also the shepherd is very very important in the life of the sheep and this is why god saw it to be important that where the sheep is the shepherd must be there because wherever there is the group god raises the leader to lead the group so wherever there is the sheep god raises the shepherd to lead the sheep so the word sheep comes from the word shepherd there can be no sheep without the shepherd and there can be no shepherd without the sheep so the shepherd and the sheep they are important and they are all important that they must move together they must support one another they must work together in order to have a progressive life hallelujah now um from the 
passage that I have just read, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. I want you to understand that uh, the, uh, our God, uh, according to the book of John chapter 4, verse 23 to, uh, to 25, uh, the Bible says God is the spirit and he has got no physical body. Whenever God wants to provide shepherd responsibilities to his people, he raises a physical uh, person with the, uh, the responsibilities of a shepherd. So it is through the physical shepherd that God uh, demonstrated his responsibilities to his people. Whenever there is a problem in the land, whenever there is a problem in the in the world, God raises a shepherd. When the people of Israel had a problem in Egypt, God raised Moses. When people had a problem in the land, God raised Elijah. Whenever there was a problem in the land, God raised a prophet. Whenever there was a problem in the land, God made sure that uh, someone should stand up and take up the responsibility. Even in the New Testament uh, time, when God saw that people are perishing in sin, people are going to hell, God thought it wise to bring uh, his son to be born physically so that he Jesus can provide a physical leadership, a physical and spiritual leadership to the people. And after Jesus Christ portrayed the leadership in this world, he raised apostles who would carry on the leadership to the whole world. So you can see the role of a shepherd is very, very important in the life of the sheep. Without the shepherd in the life of the sheep, the life or the sheep will be very, very miserable. God is the God of order. Uh, he wants to follow uh, his, uh, he wants to follow uh, the design of his responsibilities to the sheep. So whenever God wants to shepherd his people, he uses the shepherd that he called. He uses the leader that he has raised among his people. So the sheep must acknowledge um, uh, they, they are leader, they are shepherd, and the shepherd also must uh, work together with the sheep that God has provided. Hallelujah. Uh, now, let's see. God, God is very, very, very uh, ready to help his sheep through the shepherd that he raises. Now, I want to raise a very important point here. My main message here is this. God is our shepherd, although he can shepherd his people through a physical shepherd out there. Now, you need to understand that our God, Jehovah, he is our chief shepherd. He is our chief shepherd. He guides us. Wherever you are, viewers, wherever you are listening to me, you may be going through maybe different situation. Uh, I may not know the kind of a situation you are going through out there. I may not know the kind of a trouble that you are going through out there. But uh, uh, the special message that I've received today, I'm giving it out to you because God is the one who knows what you are going through. So the one who knows what you are going through, he has given me the message to give to you out there. Now, here is the message. God is your shepherd and God is there for you. As the shepherd, God has a heart for you. He knows that you are his sheep. You are his people. You are his souls. And he wants to provide good care upon you. He knows what you are going through and he knows your needs. He wants to touch your needs. He wants to provide for your needs. As I told you already, the works of a good shepherd. God as a good shepherd, he wants to feed you because it is the responsibility of a shepherd to feed the sheep. He wants to nurture you in the way you must grow. You must carry the nature of your shepherd. God being your shepherd, he wants you to have his nature inside you. And God, because he is a good shepherd, he wants to make sure that you are protected because it is his responsibility as a shepherd to nature and take care for his sheep. 
God as a good shepherd, he wants to make sure that uh, you have proper guidance upon your life. There are times, there are moments where you may be encountering challenges and problems, tough situations. You may be stuck in your life. God, our Jehovah, God, our shepherd is there to provide good governance and good guidance in any situation you may be. What you need is just good relationship with your God. God is our chief shepherd so a shepherd and the sheep they must be in a good relationship in order to move forward in life hallelujah so god being the good shepherd he wants to provide the comfort peace love joy and hope to you whenever you seem to have no peace god as a good shepherd is there to provide peace to you god when he sees that you need joy is there to provide joy genuine joy that no human being can provide that the world the joy that the world cannot provide god is there to provide the peace and the hope that the world cannot provide god as your good shepherd is there to provide joy and good hope upon you i know there are so many promises in this world there are so many good promises in this world so many flamboyant promises in this world that are not coming to pass but god is there for you to fulfill his promise man can lie but god will never lie let all people let all men be liars but god let him be true all the time god has never lied even a single day he's ever a true god last but not the least i want you to understand that god being our chief shepherd he is your shepherd is there to take care for you now the bible says in uh, 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 psalms chapter 23 he says God is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He leads me in a good pasture. Uh, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. I'll fear no death. Meaning that when the sheep are being led by the shepherd, they know that they are in good hands. They know that they are in safe hands. But when the sheep they do not have a shepherd they get scared they get scattered because they know they are on their own but the moment they see the shepherd is there they remain at peace because they know that their master is with them the one who takes care for them is with them is there to provide for their needs is there to guide them is there to protect them from the dangers so god is our shepherd god is your shepherd in every situation you may be encountering I want you to understand that God is your shepherd, is there to provide for you, is there to protect you from any danger, from any threat, no matter how the dangers may be, no matter how your trouble may be, it can never go higher than your God who created you. God is there for you. He knows why he created you and God knows the way out for you. God has got all answers. The devil is there to bring problems in your life. The devil is there to bring problems in your family. He can bring problems in the world, in your work, in your business, in your marriage, in whatever situation that uh, you are encountering. The devil wants to inject the trouble. He wants to bring problem, but God is a problem solver. God has the answer to all the problems that the devil wants to bring. God has answers. The devil, when he brings problems, he does not bring answers. Satan, he just brings troubles. Satan, he just brings problems he does not bring answers but god is the one who brings answers he's the one that brings uh, solutions so viewers out there i want you to know that no matter the situation you may be going through no matter uh, the situation or the trouble no matter your needs no matter the threat or the dangers that you are facing i want you to know that god is there as your shepherd cleave on cleave on to your shepherd put your minds together do not be frustrated you have a living shepherd you have the eternal shepherd he created you for the purpose he designed you wonderfully beautifully and fear free you have a brighter future don't be discouraged look to your shepherd look to your shepherd have courage pray to your shepherd is there to provide governance to you he knows he has a good plans for you uh, uh, jeremiah chapter 29 uh, verse 1 
to 14, the Bible says, I know the plans that I have for you. The plans not to destroy you, but the plans to give you good future. So that when you pray, you should receive answers. So be encouraged. Never be frustrated. Wherever you are, God is there for you. And I'm there to pray for you in the name of Jesus. So uh, you can subscribe. You can share this message. You can also support uh, uh, my ministry so that I keep on uh, preaching to you, encouraging to you, because uh, it, it takes uh, bundles for me to be on the uh, on the YouTube, on the Skype, on the Instagram, on the Twitter, on the Facebook, you know. So I just uh, want you to be encouraged. Just support the work of God. Uh, pray. Never be discouraged. God is there for you. If you may want to call me, here is the number. You can call me uh, uh, plus two six zero nine uh, seven eight uh, two uh, uh, Two three. Uh, let me repeat my number. Uh, plus two six zero nine seven eight two three two two seven seven. Or you want a WhatsApp number? You can reach me on plus two six zero nine six three two eight. 1338. You can either WhatsApp me or call me direct. I can pray for you. I can encourage you. I am there as a servant of the living God. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.